Hey guys, this time I'm going to be showing you how to pass your Windows machine to enable custom themes. Now I'm going to be showing you how to do this for Windows XP and Vista. Now you can do this very easy in XP. All you got to do is go to the site, I'll supply the link in the description, download the, um, download the UX theme multi-patcher, click download. It supports service type 1, 2, and 3, so you don't have to worry about it. And you should get a few things right here. Just pick um, the one that you want. You should be able to download it. And just save it to where you want. Extract it and then run the file that's inside of it. Pretty easy. I may have explained that, you know, a little rough, but sorry. <laughs> Feel free to message me or comment me if you have any questions or anything. Now that's um, XP's way of patching um, files. Very easy. Now, this is the way. <coughs> All you gotta do is go to codegazes.com, click on the Vista Glass tab, you see it at the top, and then click on the Downloads tab, and you should come to this page. Now all you gotta do is download it. Once you download it and install it, you should get this little icon right here. Now be aware that this only works for Service Pack 1. If you do not have Service Pack 1, I, re I recommend getting it. But if you do not want to get Service Pack 1, all you gotta do is go to within windows.com go to the US team patches tab and you should see a bunch of stuff just scroll down to where you see windows vista and then you should see one that says service pack zero click on this one right here click on it now you'll need sim zip or rinmar to um, extract the folder and just save it then you're going to right click it, open the folder, and then you should have three files in here. So all you need to do is go to computer, your hard drive, windows, scroll down to system 32, go in it. Now you're going to look for the first one is S H S Okay, apparently it doesn't want to go to it, so I'm going to doing that. Okay, I'm going to put that now. Great. Alright, there you go. It's right here. All you got to do is right click, go to properties, security, advanced, owner, edit, administrator or whatever, you know, you're using it. Hit OK. Hit OK again. Hit OK again. Edit. Administrator. User. It's actually just go to user. So I'm use it anyway. Hit OK. Hit yes. And then that's pretty much about it. Now, I'm not going to replace the file because it's already been replaced. And as you can see, it's right here. But whatever. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all you got to do. You just replace all these files with the original files that you have, and it should be good. But, if you have Service Pack 1, all you got to do is um, download and install the Vista Glass application that I just showed you. Double click it. Wait for it to um, pop up. There we go. Now you should get a window similar to this. And all you, and all you gotta do is click this one right here. It'll say show as your system down. Click it. And since I have my system already patched, I'm not gonna unpatch my files and repatch them. All you gotta do is just click patch file, and then I'll ask if you wanna reboot, reboot, and then it should be fine. Now once that's done, you can start putting things on your system machine. Now, this is SQL Beta, the theme that I was using um, in, uh, in one of my previous videos. And I think Resources Online was asking about this theme as well. But if this is the thing that you wanted, then here you go. I'll supply all the links in the description, and this is made by Invader John. He makes excellent Vista style. It's really nice. 
Now, if you install this on your machine, all you gotta do is download. Save it to your system. Still saving, apparently. Okay, I'm almost done. Okay, now that it's done, all you gotta do is right click. Then just extract it. Double click it. Make sure the vehicle, um, you know, the dot MSS now thing you use in, in the folder. Now, before you put it in the um, place I'm going to tell you to put it, make sure you, you know, scale it down to just the vehicle because it tends to not work if you have so many things, so many other scores and stuff in it. So you got to do is go to computer, your hard drive, Windows, Resources, Steam. Just put it in here. Once it's in there, go in the folder, go click this, and you should have a nice little you know, tab with the with two extra Windows arrow Windows just uh, thingies or whatever. <laughs> just hit apply or hit OK. Doesn't matter. When and as you see, you now got the new thing that you downloaded. Woohoo! Now, this will change a lot of things. Now, this is for you guys who have LCD monitors and the um, screen is a little bit too bright. So, this will come in handy for you guys because it narrows down, it narrows down the brightness, which is really, really, really good. And that's pretty much how to patch your system. Now, if you have any questions, and if I have explained this a little rough, please don't hesitate to write, comment, and if you like my videos, please subscribe. Thanks.